and welcome back. Today we have the Argus uh, 4 Pro from Real Link. Um, as you guys know, I've tested these guys stuff before. Um, some great stuff that they have here. So always excited to check these guys out. Now, if you guys are brand new to the channel, consider subscribing. If you guys are a returning subscriber, welcome back. Try to get you guys here all the latest and greatest stuff. And Real Link has had some pretty amazing stuff when it comes to security cameras and security home in general. So here's the camera right here in the box. We are gonna open this up in a second. I wanted to check this one out because this one does come with some solar panels. And actually let's open up the camera first because this one says Real Link Solar Panel 2. I don't know if that means two panels or just the one. Um, so yeah, so let's check this one out. This one says 4K 180 Color X Wi-Fi uh, 6 battery camera. Um, yeah, excited to see what it is. And we are going to be using, I'm going to be setting it up on my phone. So check this out. It does have a troubleshooting guide right there. So visit support reallink.com. Pretty easy. And I'm always happy with these guys. So here we go. Um, when you open it up, you do get some stickers, some surveillance stuff. Um, you get a user manual, so a couple things here for you guys to read. And then, of course, you will get the camera itself. Now, this has to be a chunky monkey. Look at that. It's got the dual cameras on each side, and it is pretty heavy. It almost looks like a guy right there. Look at this. Look at that. It looks pretty cool. I, I kind of like it. It, it, it. The way it looks like. Yeah. <laughs> Let me know. Yeah, so look at this guy right here. It looks like, I don't know, camera with uh, eyeballs on it. Check this out. So what else do we get in the box? So inside you will get a mount, which we are going to go ahead and use here. We're gonna set that up. You do get a strap, and then of course some stuff here to mount on the wall. So not too bad. Now there is a USB-C to USB-A, there's no charging brick or anything like that. Um, so just keep that in mind when we are setting that up. So with the camera itself here, I'll go ahead and move this to the other screen. Um, you do have this thing here, when you open it up, you have a power option, micro SD, and I think that's it. It's just power micro SD and then just cover it up because it's all for weather protection. Um, here, this is going to be your USB, so you just pop it up, and USB-C is going to come right there. Just depending on how you have it set up, that's where it's going to go. And I think that's pretty much it. Now, there is a little guy here um, for your stand, so if you do screw it on, it should be pretty simple here. So, this knob, the way to tighten it, because it is pretty loose, you just screw these two together and it will tighten everything up in place. So it's actually very, very nice here. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and screw this on. And there we go. It's set up pretty good. I don't know if you guys can see that right there, but yeah, set up pretty good and it looks like it's gonna be fine. So the next thing that we wanna do is let's go ahead and look at the solar panel so again always love when they include stuff like this because you don't have to worry about charging them it should take care of itself so very easy again to set up with this stuff it's going to be pretty much a plug and play and and just let it charge so here we go, here is your panel. So it looks like it's one. And the reason why it said two is because this is version two of what they have. Um, and same thing, you have uh, some ports here that you could use just depending on how you have it set up. So you could plug it in here and then plug this into here. So we're gonna go ahead and do that. There's also, I'll flip it to the camera cause I'm not gonna use it, but I'll show you guys. There's a mount for the panel and also some screws here to use. So a couple things here just to keep in mind, um, make sure you guys do bolt this up pretty good. And the other thing is when you are setting this up to charge, make sure you do have it sitting there for, I don't know, at least give it a full day's charge before you start turning it on and doing its thing. Typically what I do is I'll, I'll put this in the backyard, put it out there, I'll leave it off 
and then the next day then i'll have everything mounted turn it on make sure everything is working and yeah should be pretty easy and simple to use so real quick to plug this in you want to be sure you push it in pretty hard because it does have some rubber on it and that's just to keep all the the moisture out the weather elements just push it in this will stick out like that just a tad but that shows you exactly what that is um, and then you should be good to go now if you're using a dock um, if you're using like a power adapter or anything like that a brick then this is what you're gonna want to use so they give you different options here so yeah so there you go so I got my panel I got my cable here and I am gonna have to move the panel out so that way it could get some Sun but it should be pretty simple so let's see if we can get this thing all set up okay so what I'm gonna do is um, I'm gonna go to real link on my phone here and I already have it enabled or I already have it installed I should say um, but I'll show you guys here real quick I do have the app so I'm gonna hit enable and then open you might get some terms of service stuff like that just hit agree log in do what you normally do so I'm already set up so because I'm already set up um, for you, you you're gonna get some different steps so make sure you guys do follow those steps it's very simple set up an account um, do all that follow the instructions very simple if you're gonna add a camera or if you're doing it for the first time you want to go and hit up you want to go and hit the the plus over here and it's gonna say scan while using the app now I think is there a there is so there is a barcode in the back of this thing um, so I'm just gonna put while using the app and I'm gonna scan that QR code it says configuring it configure Wi-Fi via Bluetooth Wi-Fi already configured so I'll do configure Wi-Fi over Bluetooth and it is now picking up the device itself so pretty nice now let me go ahead and zoom in just a little bit more that way you guys could see it better um, so there's the camera I'm gonna hit next please run app add the camera and set up uh, set it up so I'm gonna turn this over to face me so there you go all you got to do is just open it push that button and it's gonna start talking and not be quiet so um, make sure when you do scan it you turn it over it's gonna say scan scan it when you hit that plus sign that's pretty much it okay let me hit next because this is not gonna be quiet okay so here we go um, I went to connect it through the phone and it failed multiple times and I did the same Wi-Fi same password I had to reset it I followed the instructions had to reset it follow the instructions by the way to reset it you have to push you have to make sure it's turned on and go on the power button one two three and that'll reset it finally it just randomly worked <laughs> so be patient with it if it does that I have no idea why I did that so kind of hard to troubleshoot something when I'm doing the exact same thing over and over again and it just suddenly worked um, might want to check to be sure if there's full battery or plugged in so it could be that too right here it's gonna say create your device password so I'm gonna do that now now once you do have that password set up we're gonna hit next it's already called whatever it's gonna be called and then please note that this and this I'm gonna hit next initializing setup finish and here is the Argus 4 Pro so it says it's not connected you got to click it give it a second as you can see there's two different cameras here so there's one on the left and then there is one on the right so let me go ahead and flip this over that way you guys can see how both works this is actually very nice how it has the one thing the only thing is um, I'm putting my finger here in the middle and as you can see you cannot see my finger if I'm actually standing right in front of it um, it kind of covers part of my face I'm more concerned about the finger thing <laughs> um, but I guess that's got to be like a blind spot but that's okay <clears throat> okay let me try to get closer with this that way you guys could see what I'm seeing here um, I'm gonna show you guys here the delay on this thing so check this out I'm gonna be using my right hand here so that way you guys could see it ready one one thousand two one thousand so it's almost two seconds it's almost two seconds between when you see my finger and when you don't. Ready? Here we go. One, one thousand. Two, one thousand. I guess that's a second. Second and a half. Um, 
So it is pretty, there is a delay for sure. You can see how long it took for both hands to appear. So you can definitely see that there's a delay. I'm gonna go ahead and put my hand down. One, 1,000, two, 1,000. So about two seconds. And now I'm gonna do my right hand. One, 1,000, two, 1,000. So yeah, about two seconds before you actually see something there so but that's okay it's not too bad it does it's doing its job and it's gathering two different spots here so that's pretty nice okay now on the bottom here it does have a microphone so i'm going to use the app hello testing one two three so you could hear it it doesn't sound the best but you can hear it so that's not bad you do have this thing here called fluent or clear so we want to see, of course, as clear as possible. We want quality. Um, it works good. So the fluent was a little bit of the delay. So I'm guessing with clear might be a little bit, um, maybe more of a delay. So one 1,000. And actually, that was a little bit faster. One 1,000. Yeah, that was actually a lot faster. Clear was better than fluent. Would have known. So this one here, this one is just for your recording. Um, that's going to be for your pictures. That's going to be if you want to pause it. If you hit this little guy here, it's going to open up all your stuff. So pretty nice. All your cameras right there. So it's not too bad. Um, and then, of course, if you hit the back button here, you're going to you're going to open up this window. Now, this window gives you a little bit more features. So um, you do have all those options that you had before. And you had your talk and playback here on the top. This is where you're going to get some more stuff here. So. If you click on the top right hand corner, you could do immersive and this gives you kind of like all the cameras all at the same time, which is nice. You do have this little option here to uh, for your settings. If you need to rename anything, gives you the battery, the Wi-Fi display audio. Oh, there's a light here. So the spotlight, I wanted to test the light mode, but I guess I'm not sure how to how to do it. But there is a spotlight there if you want to mess with it. Um, it has a sensor. It has your audio, your detection alarm, your camera recording, your push notifications, uh, sharing the camera, time lapse in advance. Time lapse is actually pretty cool, but you need an SD card to be able to do that. Once you have that, actually looks like Thailand right there. So, um, yeah. So you'll need to do stuff like that. Now, if you come up here to the top, you got some more settings. You got device name, model, storage, update device. I always go to update device, and then it says auto updates. Um, right now it's going to check if there is an update, but I would keep auto update on just to be sure that it has everything. Um, so it, this gives you an idea of how it works, um, how to set it up. Again, the only hiccup that I had was when I was trying to hook it up to the Wi-Fi. Now, when you, when you are trying to reset it back up that power button, I'll show you guys here. You have to hit it three times. One, two, three. You hear a little bell little red light is blinking on cool so to turn it off completely just hold that power button and there you go it, it shuts off completely so works pretty good um, once you get it going it's good it's just that initial setup that might be a little bit of a pain in the butt um, but yeah it's not too bad so I think I did it I think I let me see I think I reset this thing three times before it actually took it so not too bad let me know what you guys think in the comment section below um as you can see i have other real link cameras that i've used um, and that i currently have set up at the house so works pretty nice yeah i like the build i like how it is just the initial setup to get it going was my only hiccup but it took me three tries which isn't bad yeah let me know um hope you guys are doing well and as always you guys take care take care of each other and i'll see you guys in the next one